Yo, what's up guys? It's Pi equals here, the Crypto Pi, and today we're going to be talking about metal. But first, let's just do a quick analysis on Bitcoin, all right? Very quick, guys. Um, we're looking on the daily here. Uh, so a lot of people think we still go further down. Um, well, if you look at this, guys, right? So I'm zoomed out here. This is the BitMEX chart. Do you think we go further down? Uh, it, it just doesn't really look like it, right? Um, so yeah, um, that is basically w what I think about Bitcoin right now. Um, the daily, uh, you know, the, the EMAs are getting closer and that is an interesting uh, signal for me that, you know, we could very well go go up here again at 7,000 or even 8,000 or even 10K, okay? So uh, then we just quickly look at the weekly as well. Well, you know, our bear trend started here so in December, uh, we started our bear trend. It's nearly December again, guys. That's a whole year, right? Um, we only have two months left, and then we're back. We're at a whole year. So, yeah, I, I, I honestly think that this will turn around. Um, especially looking at the daily, this is just forming a nice bottom here. Okay. Um, this is normal. This is a period that 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 is quite normal for Bitcoin to be in a bear market for right 12 months uh, sometimes it takes longer maybe it takes longer maybe we'll go sideways longer but that's Bitcoin anyways guys I have zero indicate uh, zero lines on here right now just purely looking at the EMAs okay because right we get right into the, our next coin and uh, this one hasn't pumped yet this is metal guys right um, so metal hasn't pumped yet and look, look, guys, this is daily chart, all right? Just only accumulation, just on the bottoms here. So I'm not telling you, like, you should put all your eggs in here. Of course not, because, you know, we could very well go further, you know, visit these lows here again at 860. But is it worth a shot? It's worth a shot, guys, right? It's definitely worth a shot. So without doing anything here we're just gonna look at what metal has done on the daily okay so um, this is where it started so this is our absolute top here um, this is after that well yeah also bit tracks but this is the Binance one right this is what most people will be looking at so this is what I'm looking at as well all right um, so if we take a Fibonacci um, and we take it from this top here right and we take it to the low Okay, so our first target would be the two two three six here at twenty three fifty. Right? You also see some consolidation. So we're just gonna put some targets in, okay guys? It's very simple. Um around up here. This is our first target. Right? First target. Um okay, so we're gonna copy and paste this to make our second target. Uh, second target would be, well, I mean, obviously here, it just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. Uh, you know, here's the lows of it. So 618 is the lows, but 786 is honestly the tops. So you, you, your target number two is around here, right? Okay, so we got our second target established as well. Now, where, where's another target, right? Third target. I mean, you could say it's it's up here, or, um, well, you know, technically it is around here as well, right? So yeah, you have another target here, right here, right? Then we have another one up here, right? Right up here. So. Of course, I don't think we'll pump all the way up here, guys. You know, it's mad to assume that. But look at Phoenix, right? Well, Phoenix did. That's a red pulse. Okay, so uh, metal can do the same thing, guys. Right? I'm just telling you guys that the smart money is accumulating right now. Um, well, the people that chase it after, well, you know, they, they're just going to chase. Because the daily is obviously here. It's bottoming out, right? I mean, if, if people think like this is just going to fall, like drop a whole lot again, um, it could, it could honestly, 
but um, you know is it likely right is it likely for that to happen not super likely right so where would we want to buy um, I honestly should make these areas red because these are selling areas right these are targets so let's make them red right and then we have one up here as well and I want you guys to do the same you know when you look at coins I want you guys to do exactly the same thing that's what I'm doing right here right, just put yourself sell targets areas always areas not exactly a target use your Fibonacci um, maybe we'll take a swing as well from this high see how that looks right? okay so then our 236 would be up here but we still have this target as well um, the 3A2 almost lines up with this one and then um, well it actually does these, these wicks they line up perfectly so yeah they do but um, I'll keep my target area like this and then we have 786 as well so you know it, it that lines up as well but I'll, uh, I'll mark it like this okay so here we go um, actually up here yeah up here okay so there we go guys um, these are my cell targets on metal um, so do basically w what I'm saying is I will go in very small here right um, because it's an accumulation area well you know I want to also accumulate a little bit and I mean then just hope that my targets get hit right because here is the thing guys right so we're going to look at how much it actually is that we're looking at all right so um, let's see price range I think is this tool here yeah so we have our first target at about 122 percent if you were to buy right now okay our second target will be around 400 percent okay and then our third target will be around 600 percent right there right and then our fourth target you know whether if we go mental mode um, is at 1400 percent okay so that is what we're looking at right now on metal um, what is our downside right well of course there's a downside right like what if this goes down that is uh, you know it's something that could happen right so your downside target I mean a new low is 22 percent okay so just for your first target just for your first target right if we take it long here would be right around here to 122 percent well your down um, target would be um, about 24 percent so that's a 4.89 risk to reward uh, that is very 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 good guys right I'm not saying once again right uh, we need to establish our buying areas now right we just established all this now we're going to establish some buying areas right so obviously I cannot go on the daily we're going to zoom down all right so what I like to do is I go four times so four times six is 24 hours right is the day so we're going to look at some some buying areas right where can we accumulate here well I see one right here there that's a buying area for sure 100% uh, so make this green there um, and I see one right down here as well So um, that is basically our two buying areas uh, that I would want to wait for. So either this one or that one, right? Because um, if we take our swing low, just a quick fib here from low to high, um, well, that would be almost the bottom, of course. And this would be just a little bit under the 6.5. OK, 
okay so but you can see there's definitely support there right um, so we've done that right could definitely make this a bit longer okay so um, now we've established that as well we have a buying area we have a selling area right so this would even skew up a little bit right same for all these but uh, you you get the you get the picture guys you get the picture so I mean I'm, I'm still gonna do it no matter what let's just do it yeah screw it right so our first buy area is around here there we go put all these boxes in there and normally I don't do all this guys right um, because well obviously you can just do a quick shift click boom see how much it is see how much your down target is and you know it right that's all you need to do but um, just to show you guys in perspective right so this is your risk reward or on this trade um, obviously if you buy down here your risk is very 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 low I mean down here would already be you, you down it to about 18 percent but if you buy in these areas you literally have five percent for a gain of massive right um, this will be even higher so um, yeah that's kind of what, what, what you're looking at here okay so guys metal is definitely a gem you should be looking at here um, it's getting tighter every day and we just put like a simple triangle in here as well and then um, what we do like we don't really have much here well so, something like that right obviously this was a anomaly but um, something like that is also a case right so you know very rough drawing of course it doesn't really matter with diagonal lines like I explained you guys uh, a lot of times before it's all about the horizontal ones right so um, yeah this is basically what you're looking at guys right so that's metal for you and uh, I'm definitely looking at this trade and I'm willing to to risk uh, to make uh, a good gain right so keep that in mind guys this is definitely a good gain that you can make so yeah I'm definitely going to accumulate both here and here um, that is what I'm doing so um, yeah um, I'm definitely going to buy some metal so that is uh, what's going on today all right guys that is what I have for you today also I have a patreon page which is patreon.com slash pygos you can check it out and check which tier fits you and you know you can become a patron and support everything that I do all right guys um, so I absolutely thank my two patrons they can always message me on both telegram and discord um, or on patreon itself of course and also guys join up with the crypto pies block where you can ask me any question ask other people questions and it's just a great chat box to be in right let's see what's going on here um, so we have uh, a chart here so red pulse yeah this, this was the Phoenix one right guys so it obviously pumped a lot but guess what you could have made some extra gains there unfortunately my internet died when this happened so I couldn't make gains there but all you had to do was take your fit from swing low to swing high and buy the 618 just scalp it a little bit right I don't I'm not saying go all in of course not because it pumped massively but just try to scalp for a little bit and you could have easily made the 10% gain all right so um, that is uh, how that is all right um, that's pretty much all that's going on there also join up with the crypto pies feed where I post all my videos post for upcoming ICOs when I find an ICO I'll tell you guys about it to whitelist for it so you are ready for the sale but at the moment don't expect any ICOs from me because both NEO and Ethereum are still very low priced and that means your ICO needs to do very well in order for it to outperform it right it's that simple guys um, what I do look for in the ICO is a strong team. I look for low token metrics, such as, so a low mark cap, right? So it's easy to flip for us. And of course, I look for infrastructure projects such as blockchains and protocols because they simply outperform all the other categories out there, right? Um, also, guys, follow me on Twitter, which is twitter.com slash pygos. And follow me on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash pygos. 
Both telegrams will be in the description below and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe, hit that post notification button and if you got any questions at all leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.